All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are in what fifth installment of this series. Uh, I promise I'll be finishing this soon, and uh, we're gonna have some something nice to to conclude this with. But like, as as part of my uh, New Year resolution to keep this short, uh, I'm just gonna jump right into this. So for this one, I'm uh, going to cover. Uh, playing a bit with with uh, Aleppo, so this is the part that we are looking at, and you know the the Aleppo, the the there's a quite a, a small kind of a, uh, a the sweet spot is for our JPEGs as at a very uh, small range, and then this kind of a uh, for example this. Uh, uh, trim pot is kind of a hard to uh, configure because uh, if you look at it, when we uh, we saw that even twenty five millivolts can affect the um, the output of the um, effect. So you know the control voltage. So uh, here we are talking about this 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 uh, voltage here can vary between one and five maybe volts. So this is uh, a just a couple of uh, degrees of rotation of this um, uh, trim pot are going to give us a, a huge difference, you know, like in, in our biasing point. So what I thought was to add something here and, and likewise to, to affect, the, because the swing here could be 500 millivolts, which is maybe not what we want all the time, because even 200 millivolts is, is plenty for this control voltage. So uh, what I wanted to do is was to maybe work on this and maybe you know adjust this uh, here uh, to, to have a better control of biasing for example or better control of this swing uh, or, or you know peak to peak uh, this LFO output uh, for our control voltage. Um, as usual you have uh, all the diagrams on my uh, website so just have a look there uh, I have it in the description the link to that so I wanted here 770k. Well, I wanted a probably different value. These these are the resistors I have. Uh, so if I put 770k here, and if you remember here, it's one mag here. So here, this gives me a bit of a uh, more control. I can have you know from what is it 770 all the way to 1250k. Uh, so it gives me a bit of more uh, biasing uh, options here because what's going to happen, this will uh, help me control in the range of 200 millivolts. So with this one, I set up the uh, biasing point coarsely and I can keep this inside the pedal as a trim pot, but I, I, I put this on uh, as a control knob there so we can kind of control it a bit um, better and this is kind of a comes into play when we are playing with um, this uh, swing you know here so we might want to have this um, so for example if you think about it uh, too big of a swing uh, of this control voltage uh, might cause that our uh, sweep gets stuck or uh, for a bit, or it, it's not continuous, for example, and maybe even though this effect is very subtle, you know, like we might want to have this uh, controlled better, you know, maybe that that is just, in fairness, just adding a bit of motion to, to your sound will possibly make a huge difference without really uh, affecting, uh, you know, I, I have my uh, phaser, uh, another phaser around like Bad Stone uh, from, from Electroharmonics that is quite a bit uh, pronounced. So this one is not so much and this one can even be turned on all the time. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, I'm just kind of thinking about it. But it's a great fun to play with this. But as I said, even though it is a subtle uh, effect, still this swing can be, you know, like we can make that uh, motion better. And with this, you know, this is the full uh, diagram, you know, it's it's quite a bit here. I deliberately 
uh, did this uh, with TL074. The chip has four op pumps in it, so you know maybe it's going to be easier for me to to complete this uh, build later on. So we'll see that uh, in a minute. So uh, just to give you an idea of what are we talking about, if I and and this is again this is going to be on the uh, website. You can you can play with this yourself. But if I you know if I kind of uh, run this bias, uh, I, if I sweep this bias here, for example, um, let's see if I get anything. <laughs> so this, these are LFO output here. Um, and you can see here that while, uh, okay, my machine is dying here now. Okay. And we wait again. So you can see here that my my biasing point gets slightly adjusted. So we are talking about maybe two hundred millivolts, but that might be just enough what we need, you know. Uh, and and you can see that it it does affect the the uh, this kind of a shape very slightly of our uh, uh, LFO signal, but it it is. Not not that much. So if if I change this and I uh, do a sweep of just the swing of these parameters, you know, uh, if I just run this, uh, I what what do I get is, you know, and you can see here immediately that, um, and any time now. Uh, so you can see that it goes all the way. This is we are talking about from. 2.7 to 3.2, that's 500 millivolts, uh, all the way down to maybe this is 200 millivolts or something like that, you know. So it is kind of a quite a big uh, uh, difference. Um, and it you might want, for example, here at this, when, when there is a very small sweep, you may with biasing adjust your uh, biasing point then better and, and have this. Now, obviously, as you can see here, this is kind of a increases frequency. So when it's a big swing, obviously that LFO has a shorter, uh, it has a longer period, just because it, the, the capacitor takes longer to uh, charge and discharge. Here it's a smaller uh, swing, so, uh, you know, there's less charge and uh, less swing and then it's kind of a faster. Uh, but then, you know, like you can uh, adjust them your rate uh, if you want to. But the, these three uh, potentiometers then are kind of uh, interactive and they interact with each other. So, you know, like to get a sweet spot, you might need to uh, to weak with them. And now there are other options that we can do. But like, let me give it a try. Just do a quick uh, try out of this on breadboard and see what we get with this. Okay, so I breadboarded this here. Um, I just kind of uh, moved out this uh, resistor and wired up the pot here, and I just kind of uh, slotted in pot here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, first uh, set up uh, this kind of a biasing properly. So I'm going to uh, set up this to... Uh, here to uh, somewhere around the middle and then this is all the way down and once I finish biasing this the way I like it or I want it to be uh, I'm gonna go and then slowly changing the values here and then sweeping this as well you know like changing and and trying different settings and see uh, again, the circuit above is just are my base uh, configuration. Let's hear that base, and then I'm gonna move on to setting this up and and and, and you know uh, doing various trying various things.
Okay, so we got some kind of a. I, I don't know if if you notice those changes, like in the sounding of this, and then definitely uh, some of the the uh, sound is slower, moving way, kind of subtler, and then there is a bit more. I can't call it even dramatic. None of this was really dramatic, but it is kind of a very small change and maybe that's something that you want just to kind of give you a bit of a, um, extra movement to your sound. So what's left for the next time is that I'll come up with some kind of a final uh, circuit and then, you know, we see if that sounds good, if that's useful and if that helps us sound better. So until then, 